Check what was the other nerf? Uh, slow duration. Ah, that's like. Uh, I mean, I guess it affects the lane a little bit. Prepare for battle. Yeah, actually, I didn't. I didn't read the other. I just remember the. I didn't read any specific ones for her. Slow duration on acorn shot. Yeah, it's that's a laney nerf for sure, right? right. And I think that's the only one. All I don't right. remember her talents off the top of my head. What's this say? No spells, just auto attack. These guys are doing a lot of all check. Guys go five v five bot room. No spells, auto attack. They say fight. Okay, well they've immediately. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> no spell. All right, well there we go. Five v five. The tombstone's out. Tombstone okay, I mean quest. They're going to lose a couple of heroes for this. Chen's going to try and farm up this tombstone, but he can't do it fast enough. He's going to go down. QJY, oh, it's a mid sand king, and he's going to be blasted away into smithereens as Noob's going to escape. They actually only lose the Chen. That was kind of an unbelievable fight. Upper Bannon, right click. Oh, they slowed him. Oh. Who's got the oof? Undyne has the oof? What? How you stick to people with decay? I mean, you heard the legendary the boots of a venom undying. You can never escape from that zombie. It's your worst nightmare. The last thing you don't want to see before you go to bed is an undying chasing you with all of venom. I think that's far from the last thing I want to see before I go to bed. You know what the last thing I want to see before I go to bed is, Winter? Uh, me. <laughs> no, no, come on now. My, that, 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 that would have been kind of funny. But I was, I was gonna go a different direction. I was gonna say alarm set for you know four hours from now. <laughs> oh, that's, that's that's a pretty bad one. You, oh my I'll goodness! Four hours from now. Come on! Oh, yeah, I swear, I wouldn't even be surprised if you said that. I'm like, oh, that's new. that'd be absolutely brutal. I don't know about this mid lane, by the way. Huh? I I want to check in on our side lanes real quick, just because this is. I mean, it's a support lash. I'm surprised he's going lightning storm on the support lash. Normally, when I've seen support lash, it's between the edict and the split earth, and maybe one point of lightning storm at five. Um, so I'm really shocked by that, honestly. I guess it's because he's playing into the range lane, but we'll see if this really works out for them. I have my doubts. Mid lane. Don't know when the last time I've seen a sand king mid is winter. Two zero one five. That's before my time, honestly. I mean, why? Why would you? What was the lane? I don't remember. What would you do? Uh, who would you lane against as a sand king? Why would people do a mid sand king? But I remember there was a time sand king was played mid. I'm surprised because back in those days it was considered dishonorable as a mid laner if you deny. People were like, just last hit, bro. Don't deny. And then Dendi was like, actually, Ooh, have, have you played against Sumail? Just alone. Just farm, no denies. Yeah. Bro. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. MJ, oh, he had Blood Grenade. I don't think he would have won that trade anyway. Not with the eight stick charges. So instead, he is going to take Omar for a bit of a chase. This is a fast hero, though. 325 to the 300. Oh, what, but he turned around. He turned around. Brother. Gifted Omar. Another kill there. The tombstone's out down bottom, but it's not going to catch anything here. So that shouldn't really be too much. Wait. Hold on. People are saying he's, that Nigma lost. To who? To fun gamers. Is that true? Ah. He's not trolling you. You think? No! Nigma actually lost the first game. Or they have oh, the score okay. wrong on the stream. Yo, that's crazy. What? Is is f fun gamers like I said? They're part of old Winter Bear, so maybe, maybe there is something there. They they catch Omar, and this is more of the build I was expecting. The Edict build on support Lush is a thing. Shout out to Slasher. Oh no, that's where you got your support faces void content. <laughs> maybe. Guardian Greaves, Sal, Chrono, your team, and heal every single one of them. Kill is down bottom there. Sorry, I thought it was going to be top. It's on Erasmus. Uh, he okay. drops. So PSG quest at least starting to open up a bit in this bottom lane. I do wonder what QG, QJY's goal is going to be here, though. I 
Hey, what's the build? Do you... You actually just get a bail? I guess that's the best build for you. I don't see you getting any other items. The bail travels. Agrims, I know the Agrims is in buff. That monkey king. I'm thinking like... How do you initiate though? How do you live in fights? Because it's an, it's an off lane on dying. So he's going to go what? Mana boots into shard into echo saber? Is that still the build? Echo saber? No, they changed it. That was the last time I saw a lot of core on dying. I don't know. I've got a friend in mid immortal who spams a lot of this hero, but I've... I was... Okay, kill there by the way. QJY Who in the right mind would play spam this hero? You, you remember Gray? Oh. That's not. <laughs> Alone? In trouble? Dead? And. Ooh, Malik? Oh, he's so tanky and he's so fast, too. Two points in the CD do make it quite difficult to farm, to fight into, but this Monkey King, is, that's already his second death. This noob's already level 6, by the way. 11 dies, that, that'll that do it. 34 last hits as well, so... Uh, I don't know if this mid Sand King has really been working out as much as they have would have hoped. Yeah, I mean, the denies look really easy, honestly. Even though this hero has the worst base attack time in the game, worse, pardon me, worse than Doom. Good wing. Yeah, worse than Doom. Sorry, the kill was top what? lane. Yeah, her base attack time is 2. I think uh, Doom, Doom's got buffed a while ago. I think he's like 1.8. Doom is still worse GM, than... GM protector? No, no, base attack time. Base attack time. Not... not. Hoodwink is the slowest? Hoodwink has... Not attack speed. Not attack speed. Base attack time. So, uh, base attack time modifies how well attack speed works on you. Did you ever notice, like, when you when Jug gets stats, he attacks way faster? Oh, my God. I'm, uh, Winter, you're distracting me. He, he, he attacks faster than anyone else would. Trying to encourage good conversation about Dota. How am I distracting you? It's hard to. Trying to understand, you know, I didn't know about this. I have to catch up with a lot of the kills. Base attack timer thing, you know? Mm hmm. I thought it all works the same way that makes me. Nope. Nope, nope. It, it does make a difference. That's why, like, the base attack time talents, you know, like. Okay, here's a good example. Do you remember Necrobook? Mm -hmm. You know how that warrior was just swinging that damn axe all the time? He, Zero base attack time. No, no, no. He's, he has some base attack time. But did you ever, like, give him a solar crest or something? Oh, this is just another kill there under QJY. He's going to have to walk back to lane. I mean, th this Oh, lane, I, rem I remember. Right? I remember. You would give him solar crest and, like, his attack, he was just crazy, right? Even though it's, like, only plus 60 attack speed. But you give plus 60 attack speed to other heroes. And, yeah, that's a lot, but it's not, like, you know, it's not that much. In the formula, it affects how much you're actually getting naive. He's going to take a death here, actually. They will catch him. Nice job putting together the slows there for the kill, utilizing that tombstone. But it means they probably lose the monkey alone from the top. Alone is alone. Oh, no. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Yeah, I, did, I definitely did not know that... Uh Blue Wing has the lowest. Mm -hmm. This is actually, I believe it's 2.0. I, I, they might have changed it, but Doom used to have the worst, and then when they introduced Hood Wing, they, they, did, they changed yeah, it. Yeah, they kind of nerfed the hero because he was like really in bar right. some patch. They made it so that he had a long swing. <laughs> yep. I think it's because if you gave her a good base attack time, she's already an agi hero, and she has Acorn Shot, which is an attack modifier or an instant attack of, uh, effect. This hero would be insane. This hero would be way too much. Knife fighting to the death here will go down. Just cannot really subsist through the edicts, and they're just back straight top lane. God, so hard to catch up. This is what twenty kills in seven minutes. It's insane. And Chen, he's taken down towers already. Winter. Oh, hold on. Is, is it all chat? This is why they went. They went for the Chen right away. Nice to meet you, Omar. But chill. Glad to see them having fun. Yeah, attack. doing their best. They've been all chatting since five minutes into game one. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. 7k, the net worth lead here already. Quests are pretty firmly in control as we can see Ducalus now. I mean, Dyer's there's no even mid tower for him to take. Attack. That's how out of control this mid lane was. Smoke play now from Copy Bebera, but they, they don't have any level sixes. And they're fighting into a 6 Snapfire, almost a level 6 Chen, and a level 9 Hoodwink. Here we go. Sting. 
He's gonna break the smoke, well done at least, but he can't do anything to save the Sanking, who is just dead like that. MJ running in from the side, but you have the Chen army creeps to tank the Edict Explosions. There is level 6 now, so not even Omar's gonna go down by the looks of things. Omar gobbles up the Tombstone as Alone jumps in. He'll at least take down the Snapfire. Not so bad here, but it looks like he won't be able to get off the ultimate, and Malik is coming in. He has a Doom should he need it, and he will just go ahead and drop it anyway just to secure the kill. A four for one trade now is only the arrow is going to be left out from Sting. He was able to leap away out from Trouble, but Winter, this one, the writing's very clearly on the walls here. What can you do? <sighs> what can you do right now? I mean, their team fight is actually pretty decent if they can get their doubles up with the Sanking Sandstorm with the Undying Tombstone. I mean, before you get BKBs, those uh, spells actually kill you very quickly. I don't think I'm good at that. Oh man, the J. The prediction by Noob, nicely done. I mean, uh, it's a pretty obvious where he was going to run, but. Uh, this Hoodwink hero is slightly harder to play than it looks like. I'm checking the Dota 2 here attribute tables because I believe base attack time is in here. It's not, unfortunately. Oh, it is. BAT. Yep, Hoodwink Slayer at 2.0 BAT. And Doom is second worst with... How do you know stuff like this? You don't even play Hoodwink. I love Dota, man. I love this game and its mechanics. The, the, the power, the, the strength of the items, how the attributes end up affecting and changing everything. That's a level 5 offlaner, by the way, dying. Uh, hold on, there's a, there's a bit of a team fight, Winter. Uh, okay, the creeps are doing a good job beating back Quest, but QJY, I mean, ooh, yikes, just killed by the Chen creeps pretty much there. No, this game's amazing. This game has so many nuances and intricacies. And as I like to say, Dota 2... Oh, can you snipe him? I don't think so, right? Good effort, good effort. Um, Dota 2, it's a, it's a game of rules. But it's mostly a game of exceptions. A game of rules. It's a game. It's a game of rules, but it's mostly a game of exceptions, right? Like, think about it this way: high, high armor heroes counter agi heroes, except Morphling. Morphling counters those other heroes, right? Like, like it's it's you have all these things that are generally true, and then you have these exceptions that uh, in in certain heroes or their abilities or most importantly items. You know what I mean? We're like, oh, you know, Yule Scepter is great. It's gonna, it's gonna, you know, keep you from being alive. Or, or Ghost Scepter against PA is really good. It, it stops you from dying instantly to her as a support. Except for Nullifier, you know, like it's, it's this, and then, and then there's all these other items and changes and abilities, right? That, that really shift the balance of things. And to me, this is why Dota is such a cool game, right? Like you think about base attack time, and it's really a, a lovely addition in this game. Because like I said earlier, Hoodwink already has um, an ability that gives her an attack modifier or an, inst an instant attack instance. I forgot what the specific word is. It's, um, what's it called? It has a name. It's an, it's, 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 an, it's an instant attack, I'm pretty sure, right? So it means you can crit on it, you can proc Maelstrom and stuff. It takes your base, blah, 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 right? Now, there's a couple other things like this in the game. Um, remember Abacor, when people were building uh, Echo Saber Shard in Battle Fury? That was also another. Like, it, it's, it, it's a thing of beauty, right? Because the, the game allows you to do just monstrous things. Broach? Is Broach one of those things now? Yeah, although I'm not sure I'm the biggest fan of the change, honestly. Not being allowed to crit on it, I think, is a Band-Aid fix. Because now I think this item is back in the dumpster. I don't know who else is going to buy this item anymore. Except for, like, maybe a Morphling? You still a counter that you to high armor here, right? Yeah, that's what that, but, but only if you never build crits. So I'm thinking, like, well, which high stat hero which can benefit from this item no, doesn't really care about it? I'm thinking Morphling, Morphling right? Imagine a morphing with uh, Kanda and Brooch. <laughs> yeah, pretty good. Sting. Why would you actually buy the Brooch? Sting might live here. He kisses? No, he's gonna die. 
Tombstone on the high ground is going to be deleted. Level 6 offlane on Dying here. Really struggling. Everyone on this quest side is now more wealthy than the Kopi, ba Kopi Bebra side. Sorry. Oh, they're getting another kill here onto the Undying. He's unable to escape. Down he goes. It sounds like a drink you would get at the Kopi Piam. Kopi Bebra. Yeah. yeah. Some coffee <laughs> with... Ah, oh, boss. Kopi Bebra. Huh? Kopi O... Imagine coffee with tea with uh, top tower has fallen. What would be the third ingredient? Oh, we already have like butter. Coffee, tea, and butter mm. in together. Sounds pretty good. Honey. Oh, no. Alone? We're gonna go down. Um, What's it called when you order just like black coffee? It's kopi o kosong something, isn't it? Big o, kopi o kosong, yeah. But isn't there another way of saying that? Americano. No, 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 no. I had a copiti on. Tip there on the sting. I think he's getting his creeps arrowed. That's my favorite beverage, by the way. Uh, Te o limao. No, black coffee. Oh, really? Yeah, because it doesn't break my pass. Wow. Doom, huh? <laughs> he just says no. <laughs> Under Leave me farm. Well, it's getting uh. Well, it is just quite frankly speaking, one-sided. Malik's like, don't cut waves, just jungle. My goodness, such a. Oh, sorry, my bad. Noob got another kill. Noob's just solo killing the offlaner here. Fifteen minutes into the game, um, uh, uh, they're they're like putting in demands. At least give us one lane. Look at this. They're like, they're giving deals. <laughs> Jenkins voice signs. He's, so a, good, good. he's a good businessman, you know? Well, he's trying. TJY goes through the gates. Will they chase him? They actually will chase him. We'll see what they can get. Noobs outside of the base killing anyone that dares show. Monkey King is coming to cut a wave. So he's breaking the uh, truce. TJY just begging to get his first item online. Do you actually believe the truth, you know, in SEA? Oh, and no defend. You believe that shit? No, I don't believe it. In fact, sometimes there's there's this little funny thing. Oh, they killed him again. You lied. <laughs> Noob actually found him. Sometimes in C, there's this thing where like you have this bell curve where your teammates, they'll give up enough. All right, hold on, hold on. Yeah, nice cookie, but there's another leap charge. He's a traitor, says Malik. MJ, under his tier 4 towers. He might not be safe here as the Tombstone's even committed to try and keep them back. Naive, he may have overcommitted, but at least get this kill now onto the Lash. He does have an Aegis, but he's in quite deep now. They have procced the buyback. There's going to be a split Earth here. Oh, no, there's not. No, there is not. He, His ass blinked away from you. Well, that could have been an opportunity. Maybe it still is. Nope, doesn't really look like it. Top lane of barracks have been deleted. Quests are going to reset and push, but alone, really chasing, really wants this kill. I don't believe he's going to get it, and he is going to be encircled and killed. Truly alone there, you know, trying to challenge the Sala to a 1v1 duel. Oh my god, Malik was about to doom her. <laughs> He's got blink. His dagger on Sanking. Oof. The last hurrah. The last hurrah. One more fight for the boys as Sting goes down. Noob. I don't even know where he got that kill. The the Chen creeps are pushing. They've doomed the Undyne. Uh, no chance for him to get the tombstone off. That's a pretty good initiation by QJY, and he will at least get that kill. The instant buyback out from Naive. Countered by the instant buyback now from Rasmus as they have tipped Naive. Uh, inside the base, but quickly out of it is Noob, and right back into the fight is Naive as he gets a two-man crush. A beautiful counter initiation here at Quest, cleaning up in style. The instant die back there from Rasmus. And, uh, well, I dare say, Winter, this one is over. What a bold statement, Richie. How dare you.
So what have you learned? This game? Not much. What? Thanking me does not work. <laughs> well, I don't know if we can really give this a fair a fair shake. I don't know if this is really a fair shake. Just speaking quite frankly, one team just... I mean, I don't know. These This game especially should speak for itself. A little bit of a clown fiesta to start with, but uh, nothing quests cannot dispatch of, folks. As once again, one of the last final fight here. This really has to be about it. Not sure what else. Oh, that's a nice good arrow onto the Chen. Can they actually catch him, though? Split Earth. Yeah, all right. Not bad. He's got buyback. They might just commit it here because, you know, they're up 27k. Naive completely whips on the stun there. And in fact, they get the leap away. He could be dead for this. Yeah. Oh, my God. That acorn shot. Talk about nutty. That's insane. Noob on the triple kill here. Should do well to get himself now at least an ultra kill. They won't buy back and copy Bebera to get him on the rampage, of course, but that's a team who knows their strengths by all means. There's something about the way we say them. Yeah. Copy Bebera? That yeah, just makes me want to go for others and copy from the other morning. Well, might have some time. Boss, to... copy Bebra. Satu. Copy, copy Bebra. No, actually, do her because I'll be going with you. Right, do her. Satu panas, satu ice. In trouble here. They're going to get out the ultimate. Can they land a stun? They missed the boundless strike, but they're going to catch up to Malik, who's going to turn Doom and just completely wreck them. I mean, they. Oh my goodness, these acorn shots. I don't believe him with that Crystalis. He's on the Ultra Kill. Will he be able to get the Rampage? No. Omar steals it away, and that ought to be the GG well played. As they do tip Omar with the last kiss. And that'll be the game here, Winter. That would be the game. I hope the lads have fun. Because we've had uh, an amazing time together. Okay. As always. As always. Watching the game. Black Dragon telling the base, ending the game. Dyer's Ancient is under attack. Pretty violent game. Almost 50 kills here in 20 minutes just for one side. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right, yeah. <laughs> but that's just the way she goes. That's the way she goes. Not even enough time for our wisdom rune to spawn at 21. Oh my minutes. god. Yeah, that's true. That is 